everyone, welcome back to Little Books Great Stories. Today we will be reading Clifford's First School Day. Clifford is a big red dog, but back when he was a tiny little puppy, Emily once took him to school and they had a lot of fun. Let's see what happens. Subscribe to Little Books Great Stories. And let's start reading. Clifford's First School Day by Norman Bridwell I'm Emily Elizabeth. Every day I ride to school on my dog Clifford. Clifford is too big to go inside. Clifford hasn't been inside a school since he was a tiny puppy. I took him one day for show and tell. All the kids wanted to pet my very tiny puppy. Miss Pearson liked him too. But she said it was time to begin our day. First she put out the finger paint. I love finger painting. Clifford got right up on the table. He sniffed the yellow paint. Oh my, the jar tipped over. Clifford found out that paint is very slippery. Miss Pearson said Clifford was a good artist. He made a beautiful yellow picture. We couldn't leave Clifford all covered with paint. Miss Pearson thought that some water play might be a good way to get him clean. Tim made a boat out of a milk carton. Clifford was a perfect captain for the boat. Captain Clifford climbed the mast to look around. And that's how we got the paint off. Miss Pearson dried him off. She said we were going to make cookies next and Clifford could watch. That would keep him out of trouble. While Miss Pearson rolled out the cookie dough, Clifford got curious about the bag of flour. Oops! Clifford made another mess! Miss Pearson said it might be a good idea for Clifford to play outside. We all went out to the playground. I thought Clifford would enjoy the slide. He wiggled out of my hands and went down the slide by himself. He landed in the sandbox. We helped kids rebuild their sand castle. We made Clifford the king of the castle. He loved that. Then it was lunchtime. I shared my sandwich and dessert with Clifford. He gobbled up his sandwich, but he didn't know how to eat the dessert. Poor Clifford chased the wiggly cubes all over the floor. The other kids thought that was funny. Miss Pearson said it was time for Clifford to go home and have a real lunch. She told me to bring him back to school when he was a little bigger. She should see him now. Thank you so much for listening to today's Read Aloud. I hope you enjoyed Clifford's first school day. Now please come back again next week for more and more great stories here at Little Books Great Stories.